this is Tookie Blue Eyes and thanks for tuning in today. Today I thought I would do a little video on uh, how to clean your water a little bit out there in the wild. Now most of you take potable water tablets out there with you or water uh, purification tablets out there with you. Some of you actually have a filtration system. Um, but what happens when um, you come across a water source that's it's muddy, it's gross, the water looks, you know, unclean, you know, you can't see through it. What happens then? I mean, you don't want to drink dirt, right? So basically today what I'm going to show you is how to clean that water up a little bit. Now you can add your water purification tablets afterwards to clear the water of bacteria. You can use your filtration system then. Some of you don't have filtration systems and this actually acts as a filtration system. And what we'll be using today is some of the things you'll probably have with you even if you are lost. A bandana. I always carry uh, a rag. This could also be another bandana. Um, doesn't really matter. A t-shirt. Three sticks about the same um, length. Um, I have my old machete out and that thing's in some bad shape. Pretty rusted up, but it works. A uh, pocket knife. You may not have a machete. An, a an axle will work. A saw will work. Whatever. Just to get your sticks going. And some cordage. Also, sand with some pebbles in it, rocks in it. And here's a small fire I built. And what I'm going to do is I didn't add much wood, but I want it to burn down enough to where I have some coals. And then I'm going to douse down those coals with water so that they cool down enough to uh, work in my little contraption that I'm going to show you today. Okay, what you're first going to want to do is take your three poles, and you're going to want to join them together at the top in a tripod formation. Okay, now your next step is going to want to be... Um, getting your bandanas, your t-shirt ready for um, detachment. And uh, I have some stones here that I picked up. You can find them all over the ground. And you're going to want three corners. So you just take a rock, you place it inside, you twist it around, and you have a little anchor point from which you can now attach your cordage and then it makes it easier to hang it from your tripod for the water cleaning process. Okay, you're going to want to do that on three corners of your bandanas and your t-shirt. Okay, Okay. now the cordage you can use as I've shown here or if you don't have enough cordage you can just tie it I've shown here. I decided to do it both ways to show you that you don't necessarily need the cordage. And what you want is three pockets. Okay? You have three pockets. In the top pocket you're going to pour your water. Okay? Sorry. Um, and as you can see, I got some nice cloudy water that's full of sediment. Here's the coals, the charcoal coals from the wood that I burnt in the fire that I told you about. A clean clear glass so that you can see the outcome and of course the sand. Now let's get that filled up with this with what I need it to and uh, I'll show you how that comes out. And of course here comes the wind. Now you put your sand in the second pocket with the pebbles in it because what's that gonna, what, what you're going to do is you're going to pour your dirty water up in here. It's going to filter through the bandana into the next bandana or rag whatever t-shirt whatever you're using and what the rocks are going to do is it's going to, um, not only does the bandana up top remove and strain some of the water, some of the bigger materials out of um, the water, the sand will also act as a natural filter. I mean, that is what Mother Nature does. That's what sand and rocks do up in the mountains, out in the desert. Um, sand and rocks are a natural filtration system of Mother Nature, and that's what you're looking for here. That'll filter out any more. Uh, heavier back, uh, heavier materials that may be in the water, and the charcoal or the coals from your fire. What that's going to do is remove any nasty tastes that may have been in that water. Um, this is going to try to clean up the taste of it a little bit. Okay, sorry, the first run didn't go well. What we're going to do is I'm going to dump this sed this m water that's full of sediment and muck up through the top here and see about how clear it comes out.
and you may need to do this a couple times to get all the muck out. Now see the first run is going to come out, I mean it's not as dirty as the first run of it was, but it's still pretty filthy. So you're going to have to run it through this little natural filter, uh, you know, maybe three, four, or five times. It all depends on how bad the water is. Okay, now we're going to go for our second filtration, which this is what we got back from the first pour, which it's not as dirty if you can tell. Not as bad. I'm going to pour it slowly and let it filter through. Now this isn't, it's not going to take care, take all the bacteria out of your water. It's not, okay? Um, so don't think that it is. This is just a method of cleaning up the water that you do find. Nobody wants to drink water that's got a lot of sediment in it, water that tastes fishy, water that, you know, is just, it's disgusting. Um, this is just a way to clean up your water a little bit so you're not gulping down a bunch of sand, a bunch of dirt, a bunch of sediment, bugs, um, whatever else may be floating in it. And I don't know if you could see the color of that water, but look at how much cleaner that looks in comparison to the second and the first pores. That's almost clear. I bet you if we filter it one more time, we're going to come up with a virtually clean batch of water to drink. And like I said, this is not going to remove bacteria, so you may want to add a little, uh, you know, some of your um, water tablets to it or whatever you may have with you. Um, this is just to remove the sediment, the dirt, uh, the bugs, whatever's floating in the water, like I said. Um, and it works pretty well, as you can tell. So let's get to the third filtration. I'm going to finish up this batch and get all the water back out of it. And um, we'll but do a like third I one. said, as you can see, the clarity of the water is much clearer than it was when we started out. So let's do a third. Okay, so let's get to... Sorry, I lost the camera there for a minute. Let's get to our third pour. See how clean we can get it now. A little bit maybe. Okay, I think that's enough just to show you. Could let it clear a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that's probably enough to show you. But now, as you can see, in comparison to what we started with, the water is much clearer. You can actually kind of see through it now, as in comparison to the way it was when we first started. So thanks for tuning in. This is Tookie Blue Eyes, and this has been a pleasure showing you how to filter the junk out of your water when you may need to. Take care.